What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video and another day, another content drop and another fighter that we assumed would be in day one pushing us to a total of 38. Uh, another lighter fighter added to the Bantam and Featherweight division and maybe some of the best shorts we've seen, not the best but at least top five without a doubt. And they put on Twitter just a moment ago, Scott Quigg, former Super Bantamweight Champion, will be available on day one of Early Access in Undisputed with two images, uh, both solid images. Also, Scott Quigg probably has more history with the current day one uh, like roster in terms of the featherweight and bantamweight than any other fighter right now, maybe, not, not including legends. But I'll get into that in a moment. If we have a look at the first image right here, we can see right off the rip, Plain black gloves, love to see it. We see the, the black and the shorts, a lot of gold. The quig, I mean, the shorts look fantastic. I love the black and gold. Uh, I said that with the Katie Taylor one too, I love the black and gold fight fit. Um, looks great, great complexion, muscle definition, uh, great lighting, great sweat, very, very realistic face. The hair looks good. That is a solid, solid scan right there. And I really like the shorts too. I'm sorry to say it again, but I really like them. I think the shorts are absolutely solid. And I love the, the, just the plain black gloves to go with them. If we go across to image number two, we've got kind of the same pose, but a bit more. We can see that crooked nose more, more here. That is a really, really crooked nose. I mean, it's real, but I mean, it almost looks painful just looking at this render. Uh, we see the shorts from a bit of a side angle. We see kind of how the sides with the gold go down. Uh, obviously, one glove up. And we see the tattoo on his forearm a little bit on the raised uh, arm. But all in all, a great scan, great muscle definition, complexion, face looks brilliant. Even that broken nose looks absolutely spot on. The hair looks fantastic. And all in all, a great scan with great shorts. Easily top three for shorts, in my opinion. And that adds Scott Quigg to the bantamweight and possibly as well the featherweight division. Because towards the end of his career, he did fight in that featherweight division. So he has some good fights to be made. Uh, but also a lot of the people in the day one, or at least a good couple, he's actually already fought. So right now, if day one were to drop right now, using Scott Quigg, we would be able to fight Hopi Price, Charlie Edwards, Jordan Gill, Arturo Gatti and John O'Carroll. So to be honest, some fun fights to be made there, a real variety of styles, and Scott Quigg is one tough dude, man. His record stands at 35-3 and three with 1 KO loss and 26 KO victories. Now, I've got his box rank up here because I just want to go through. He's actually fought John O'Carroll before, and he lost in the 11th round by his corner throwing in the towel. He's fought Oscar Valdez and suffered a broken, he broke, sorry, Valdez's jaw but then, then carried on the fight, and he and um, Scott Quigg ended up losing a unanimous decision across 12 rounds. He also fought Carl Frampton and lost via a split decision, suffering his own broken jaw in the fourth round, and he also knocked out Kika Martinez, who recently knocked out Jordan Gill. He knocked out Kika Martinez in just two rounds. So a very, very interesting fight. I retired, I, I want to say he retired in 2020. Uh, had a great career, but like I said, he's a tough dude. He fought some some really good good dude. I mean the the win on the win against Kiko Martinez in the second round is aging like fine wine at this point because he's just on a run in real life at the moment. And like I said, Kiko knocked out Jordan Gill pretty viciously. Scott Quigg knocks out Jordan Gill and uh, not knocks out Kiko Martinez quicker than Kiko knocked out Gill. So you've got uh, right away a good matchup between Quigg and um, Jordan Gill there. And then you've got Quigg and Gatti. Any fight with Gatti is fun. You've got John O'Carroll and Scott Quigg. They went to the nail with each other until Quigg's corner threw in the towel in his final ever fight. And like I said, then you've also got Hopi Price and Charlie Edwards. So all fun fights to be made there in all honesty. It's always fun to look at these guys and you think he's a super bantam, but he is he stands at five foot eight. So he's a tall he's a tall bantam weight, to be honest. He is a tall bantam weight. Solid dude. Former, like I said, former WBA Super Bantam weight champion. So absolutely no mug. Uh two solid images. And like I said, guys, I think they're at the point now where they're just filling out the roster for day one. We're at 38 fighters. We've got seven heavyweights. We have got six middleweights. We've got, I think that's possibly nine, nine welterweights. I think nine lightweights. And then we've got four feathers, three bantams, two flies, four light heavies, and three cruisers. So I wouldn't be surprised if the next few scans are cruiser, light heavy, fly, bantam, Ever. just filling those out a little bit 
because we've got like lightweight and welter just stacked at this point um but all in all a good scan a great fight i think this is probably a fight that not many people will know outside of the uk but that's why i just wanted to give a little bit of an insight into you know who he's fought fighters you'll know like oscar valdez who recently obviously lost to shakur stevenson and he went the distance breaking his jaw in the uh, i think in the fifth round or something oh no just that was a different issue in that fight but breaking his jaw and but obviously not being able to finish it valdez was just tougher that night but a great fighter nonetheless and someone i'm definitely looking forward to using in the game um but yeah, also I just want to show really quick, they put up this new image of Frazier, uh, Joe Frazier that is, right here. Uh, just reminding everyone that two days until the multiplayer beta. And if you guys are unfamiliar with the multiplayer beta, I have a video on my channel that I posted a couple of days ago with all the information that you would need on the beta. But anyways, uh, the beta is soon, Friday. As always, I'm hopeful I get a code so I can make all that content for you guys. I will not be streaming. I will be making videos because I think a lot of people are going to be streaming. So I thought I would save. I'll let them guys do the streaming and I will make the videos off rip because that's just what I prefer to do. But anyways, thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.